We're learning about acids and bases, and here we're going to compare and contrast them. So it's like a Venn diagram here. Um, we'll see some acids, some bases, and some similarities here in the middle. Um, so let's start over on the left with acids. Um, you know these from around your house in citrus fruits, for example, citric acid in our oranges and lemons and stuff like that. Um, throughout the chapter, I'm going to use pink for acids. And one of the things that we'll see when we look at the symbols for acids is we will see um, an H either at the beginning of the formula or sometimes in what we call an organic acid, we'll see that H at the end of the formula um, connected to a carbon and two oxygens. So either one of those H's um, we'll be looking at for acids. Um, another place that we all have acid, you're walking around with this right now, is you have a bunch of acid in your stomach. So um, that is the stomach on my little icon there. Um, so acids, a few things about them. If you can think about how your citrus foods taste, um, acids taste sour. And that's generally a taste that we're okay with. Um, some people like it more than other, but sour is okay to us. Um, most of our food is acidic, and there's a little um, spectrum over here for pHs that you'll see throughout the lecture with some things that are acidic. Um, low pHs here is what we're looking at. Things like coffee, tomato juice, orange juice, lemon juice, and stomach acid is a little too sour um, for like taste, but all these other things we eat. So we eat acids, we are gonna see we don't tend to eat bases. Um, so most of our food is acidic. Um, acids are able to neutralize um, bases, which we'll see over here. Um, when we talk about pH, we'll be getting to seeing that acids have relatively low pHs. So pHs that are lower than seven. Um, and then a little bit more to define our acids. Acids um, produce H plus um, when they're dissolved in water. And we're gonna see that we need some synonyms throughout this chapter. So if I take an H plus and I add it to water, I get H3O plus. So we use those two interchangeably. Um, we also call H plus um, a proton, or we'll say H plus, um, we're gonna add some protons. Um, and if I can think about that for a minute, H plus, if I think about um, the subatomic particles, it has one proton, no neutrons, and no electrons, because it's lost its one electron. And so that's why we call our H plus a proton, because that's all that it has to it. Um, and then another thing that we'll talk about with acids um, is that they are proton donors. Um, so that's something we'll use throughout the chapter. You can think of them being generous. Um, this H3O plus, don't forget H3O plus is the hydronium ion. So I've got some synonyms when I talk about acid. I'm thinking it produces H plus or produces H3O plus or produces protons. Those all go hand in hand. Um, over here in contrast with our bases, um, an old term for bases is alkali solutions or alkaline solutions. Um, sometimes you might hear those associated with like gardening or with foods. Um, in a base, things we'll look for in the symbols is we might see a hydroxide ion or we might see a nitrogen. And a nitrogen, if we can go back to Lewis structures, has a lone pair on it, and we'll see why that lone pair is important in a minute. So our bases, um, if we think about how they taste, you could taste a little baking soda if you wanted. It would probably make your tongue fizz a little bit. Um, but bases taste bitter, um, and that means we're generally not going to like that taste. Um, in nature, a lot of our bases um, are poisonous. So in small quantities, we have a lot of bases like in our neurotransmitters or our amino acids, for example. Um, but in a large quantity, something like caffeine um, or methamphetamine, things that end in ene, um, are often bases, um, organic bases. And in a large dose, those can be um, very dangerous. So we tend to have this um, built-in response to spit bitter things out of our mouths because in a large quantity, they're gonna be bad for us. Um, continuing the contrast, if acids can neutralize bases, then bases are exactly the opposite. They can neutralize acids. Um, and pHs are going to be exactly the opposite. They're gonna be greater than seven. So looking at some things that are basic here, 
Um, you'll notice seawater, baking soda, milk of magnesia is an antacid, um, ammonia, soapy water, things that, right, your mom puts soap in your mouth if you say something you shouldn't. Um, so things you want to spit out of your mouth. Um, in terms of what these produce, to continue our contrast, um, these are going to produce hydroxide ions when they're dissolved in water. Um, and instead of being proton donors, we would say that these are proton acceptors some of the times, and those protons are gonna get added onto this lone pair on nitrogen in a lot of our molecules. Um, so our bases will produce hydroxide and they are proton acceptors in contrast to our proton donors over here. Um, make sure you know that hydroxide ion so we'll be talking a lot about hydroxides, hydroniums, protons in this chapter. Um, and then from here, um, we can go on and name some of these on the next slide.